Hi guys! So I recently went online to a Japanese kawaii shop and purchased some candy. Just because I've been like, like, like watching these liked. I have been liking watching these taste testing videos of people trying foreign candy and I like watching the munch pack videos. There are a few things here. I didn't go too crazy, but I have some goodies. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, here's the packaging. I guess I'll start with that. It has little pandas on it. But these are the Kabaya Panda Chocolate Cookies. So let's open them up. But it's just a little package. And so we're just going to taste it. The packaging is always cute too, like anything kawaii. I'm excited. They're in the shape of pandas. I'll take one out. They're kind of stuck together. There's a few heads stuck together, but yeah. These are really good. I taste like little... There's nothing American I can compare it to, but the chocolate's really good. It's like a milk chocolate. The little white maybe that's white chocolate on top and just with a little cookie base um the description is they have a cookie base topped with two chocolate layers the top layer is white chocolate and the bottom layer is milk chocolate so that's basically what i just said right and i guess the next thing um these are kind of common i think but this is mahi yan yan biscuit sticks and it is in strawberry. So, it's just what that looks like. It has little sticks on one end. And a strawberry dip on the other. Which looks kinda, I don't know. I hope it's fresh. <laughs> the date is June 3rd, 2017, so okay. Hopefully. Not bad. Actually quite good. These are very crunchy. And the dipping sauce, it's okay. I mean, it's not the best, but like I said, there's different versions of this style. Here's the next one. Here's the packaging. Kind of cool. Um, this is, it actually has English translation on it. P Puko Ball Candy, cola flavor. So, yeah, cola flavor. Kind of like a box within a box. Maybe like, there's like a little hole to punch it out right there. Oh yeah, there you go. And see them rolling around. If I can get one out. Has no smell to it. Oh, they're hard. Mm. Don't want to break a tooth. They do taste like Coke. Or cola. That's weird. It's like chewy. Hard. It's hard to chew. <laughs> Definitely get the cola flavor. And there is some sourness to it. They're good. So, so far, three out of three. Not bad. This is the next item. This is... Joaquin sweet and sour paper candy in green apple. This looks like something similar that we have here in America. I can't think of the name of it now. Looking at it, some of you might be able to tell. 
and I'm just gonna tear off a piece. Mmm. Maybe one more piece. That is good. It's more sweet than sour. Definitely less sour than that cola one. That is really good. Here's the next one. Comes in purple packaging. It's by the, by the brand My He Again. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but M E I J I. And this one is Mahi Wadapachi Grape Popping Candy Floss. So, oh yeah, it has a little place to tear it open. Ooh, that is really strong smelling. Oh my gosh, it's like. It's like cotton candy. <laughs> okay, here it goes. Kind of scared. Mmm. Oh, it's sour. Where's like little popping crunchy pieces? And here comes the popping. Like pop rocks. I wonder what would happen if I took a really big chunk. Trying to get closer. Not too close, huh? I wanted you to hear it. Oh my gosh. We have two more things to go. The next one is Puko Chewing Candy and the Flavor Melon. There's a little place you can pull it open. There's like different little, there's multiple, there was that one. There's multiple little pieces in there. So this is cool, a little bite sized. Okay. I don't smell anything. Mm, hard to chew again. If you value your teeth <laughs> or have sensitive teeth. Wow. Okay. It took me a long, a long time to chew that piece, so I paused it. But to me, it tasted like cantaloupe. And it tasted good. It was good. It just was very, like, had a thick consistency, so. And I didn't know these were so large, but they come in packs of four. And these are Tejado and Panman corn rings. Again, cute packaging. So let's give these a try. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why don't I just taste the ones that fell on the actual, or on me? They smell like um, cereal. They're light and fluffy. They don't really have flavor. Oh, there it is. Flavor comes at the end. I guess it would be corn. They're good. A very light snack. I don't know what the calories on these are, but I think this would be one of those ones where it's like a light snack. Addicting. Can't eat this one, right? I'm just finishing up the ones that fell all over the place. There's some on the floor, but we won't eat those right now. That was everything. So yeah, I gotta make sure I don't have any more of that stuff in my hair. So that wasn't bad, seven out of seven things. You know, we're pretty good. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have a favorite Japanese candy, let me know what it is. Maybe I can find it somewhere and try it too. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.